Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Kirk Hammett's first solo in The Four Horsemen. So this one, it's got some nice melodic playing at the very beginning, and then it launches into some crazy stuff. So um, now when we get to the crazy stuff, the great thing about this solo, and actually his second solo, is when he does the fast parts, they're very um, kind of repetitive lick oriented, so you can just kind of practice one individual lick. Um, and get that down, and then it's he'll usually take that lick across the scale or, or whatever. So you can really kind of isolate it at first, get it up to speed, um, and then you'll be able to see that pattern that he's using as he's going across the scale. So it helps you not only get it up to speed quickly, but it helps you memorize it quicker too. So, uh, but in the beginning, we just start with some melodic stuff. We're still in, um, um, uh, you know, kind of a standard tuning. So I'm going to start with just a neck pickup. It starts good, uh, sounds good for this opening lick. It sounds like this. All right, so let me turn off some of these effects while I'm teaching. So we're going to start with the bend there at the 15th fret on the B string. And then you do that bend again and release down to 12, back to 15. And do the bend again. One more time. Then come over and do the 15th fret on the high E string. Let's, let's get you do the bend and slowly release. And then play 12, 15, 14. So we have this. All right, next lick. So that starts with just sliding into the seventh fret on the B string. And then come over to the seventh fret, roll over to the seventh fret on the high E string, then play 10 7 on the B. Then we're going to go up to the ninth fret on the uh, high E string, so 9-7, then 10-9-7 on the B. So we have this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up to the 10th fret on the high E string, play 10-9-7. So we have this so far. Then what you're going to do is you're going to roll over to the 7th fret on the B string, and do a quick little trill. We're going to hammer on 7 to 10, pull back up to 7, and let that ring. Then we're going to play that little trill again to start this next little phrase that ends it. So that's that little 7, 10 um, hammer, then pull. Down to 9 on the G string. Play 7, slide down to 6. Then hammer. 7, pull back off the 6, and then play 7 on the D, and 7 on the A. Alright, then I kind of switch it back to the bridge pickup, and we have some double stops. Sounds like this. All right, so we're going to slide into the ninth fret on the G string there. And then play the double stops across as you're playing um, the seventh fret on the B and the high E together. Hit that twice. So you slide into the ninth, and then um, hit that, the two double stops, the two sevens twice. Back to that nine on the G, and back to the sevens, and kind of slide down. So we have this. All right, then slide back into that nine. And then you're going to do a two sevens again, the double stops, but you have a slight delay in between them. So we have this. So we have this coming from the, the first uh, double stops. All right, and then one more time into the ninth fret, and then 
four times on the double stop. And that goes into that bend of the 10th fret on the B. So all together for the double stop section. All right, then the bend there at the 10th fret, you can use your pinky or whatever, but, um, or the third finger. So I do the bend there, the 10th fret on the B. Then you're gonna pull off 10 to seven. Then play 9, 7 on the G, over to 9 on the D, back to the 7 on the G, and then you're going to do a bend and release at the 9th fret on the G string, pull off the 7, back down to that 9, and back to the 7. And then you hit it a couple times after that, so we have this. Now this little two hits kind of really st sets off the next phrase, which looks like this. All right, so this one's a little bit harder to memorize, uh, but it's it's still pretty simple to play. So coming out of those two sevens on the G string, then you're gonna hammer on seven to eight on the B string, then back down to seven, and nine on the G. Then back to seven, eight on the B. So this. Then you're gonna do a quick little trill between seven and eight. So hammer on eight, pull back up to seven. Down to that nine on the G string. So we have this so far. Then you're gonna play seven, eight, ten on the B string. Over to seven on the high E, you're making your way up through the scale. And then pull off, got a 16th note pull off between eight and seven, down to 10 on the B. All right, so let's just cover what we did so far. So when you get that seven on the B, go back up to seven, eight on the high E string, and now it's easy. Just hit the eight, slide up to 10, hit that, Slide up to 12, hit that, slide up to 14, and hit that, slide up to 50. And then pick it again when you move. All right, so this next section has that kind of one of those first, well, things kind of get a lot quicker, and but he uses a distinct lick and just takes it down through the scale. So it looks like this. All right, so that's the first one there. So I kind of slowed it up for you a little bit there. So let's go real slow through it. Um, it's just kind of going down through the scale. We're gonna start with a bend there at the 17th fret on the B string, I mean on the high E string. Couple of bends. Then you're gonna play 15 on the high E string. Then we're gonna start the pattern. So the pattern is gonna be this. You're gonna play, it's a three note pattern. So let's get 17, 15, and 14 underneath your fingers. So you're going to pick the top note, pull off to 15 there, and then an upstroke on the last of the three. So we have this pick, so downstroke, pull, up. And you basically just take that same lick all the way down the scale. this little two notes to end it. So let's go through this scale. So what I mean now is you can just take that lick and practice it like in one spot. And then maybe just practice between two adjacent ones. So that's how you kind of can build up the speed of it. And then when it comes time to memorizing it, you know it's the exact same pattern just taken down through the scale. So you just memorize the notes of the scale down the string it's easy to just kind of place that pattern on it. So let's start here. The, the pattern is done on the 17, 15, 14. Then 15, 14, 12. Then 14, 12, 10. 10, 12, 8. I'm sorry, 12, 10, 8. 10, 8, 7. Uh, 8, 7, 5. 7, 5, 3. 
five, three, two. Then you're going to come over to the B string, continue the pattern, starting up here at the eighth fret. So eight, seven, five. Then seven, five, three. Then you're going to end it with just these two notes. Second fret on the B and um, second fret on the G. So all together. All right, so just take it down. It's just the same lick repeated, um, and it, you just kind of work up the speed slowly. Um, and that sounds really cool when you get it all together. The next one's a, a kind of repeated lick pattern as well to a pentatonic scale. It sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so he has some like tremolo picking on top. So what you're gonna do is slide up, since you skinned it down here, slide up to the, to, really with your first finger to the 12th fret there on the A string really quickly, and then you're gonna start the actual pattern, which is just around E minor pentatonic. So you're gonna start here, it's just, um, you're gonna start here with a 14, 12, 14 on the A string. Now this is slightly palm muted as well. So down, up, down, and then over to the um, D string, 12th fret, back to the 14th fret on the A, and then back to the um, D string, 12th fret. So that's down, up, down, up, down, up. Now if you know the whole E minor pentatonic scale, you just take that exact same lick. Now start it on the D string, then start it on the G and start it on the B. So all you need to know is the notes, and it's just that same six note pattern. So just practice the pattern first. Maybe do it to cross two. And then take it all the way across. All right, so. And when you get to the top, you got to that, you stopped on that 12th fret there on the high E string. You're gonna now pull off 15 to 12, and then just trim a little pick that 12 after it. So he does that a few times. So, so just a quick little pull off 15 to 12, and then just keep trim a little picking that 12. All right, and then we go into some bends at the 15th fret. Now those bends start the next phrase, um, which is kind of a lot of legato lick as well. So let me play that for you real quick, and then we'll break down what's going on there. All right, so we're going to start here with the uh, the bends there at the 15th from the high E string. Kind of bend it like three times. And kind of uh, pick it while you're holding that bend. And then you're gonna start the lick. So the lick is gonna basically be this. You're gonna pull off 15. Um, here's, you wanna pull off 15 to 12 twice. Now the first time he does this lick, he goes back down to the 12th fret on the B string. And then the rest of the time, he's always coming down to the 15th fret on the B. So we have this. So the lick here is this, like a six note lick again. We're going to be pulling off 15 to 12 twice, and then play 12 on the B, and then 12 on the high E. All right, and now the rest of the times when we do that lick, everything's the same except it's the 15th fret on the B. All right, so remember the first one. All right, so the picking I'm using is this down, down, a down, pull off, down, pull off, down, up. So basically you're gonna do this pull off, quick pull off between 15 twice, um, and then to the B string, you're gonna do that like four times. Remember the first time you play, it, it's a, it goes down to the 12th fret on the B, and then the next three times, 
goes to the uh, 15th fret on B. And then we extend the lick a little bit. The legato pattern on top now does this. Pulls off 15 to 12, 17 to 12, 15 to 12. And then back to the 15 on the B and back to the 12 on the high E. So now that's the pattern. You do that twice. So we have this all together. So whenever I'm doing a pull off, I'm just doing, I'm hitting the top note with a down stroke and then end it with a quick down up across the B and the high E string. All right, and then we're gonna end this pattern. Kind of slows it down. You do the quick pull off there of the 15 to 12. And then you get 15 to 12 on the B string and you pick those and they go, they go down to just being eighth notes. Then 14, 12, and then 14, 12 on the D. Kind of hold that last 12. And we end the solo with this last phrase. Let me do that again. All right, so uh, just, there's some layering going on. There's two guitar parts going on at the same time. I'm just doing the main one. There's another lead guitar line going on that you'll hear with it. Um, so I'm just sticking with the main one that we've been doing and not really worried about the other one. But that last little dive bar thing, um, that's actually both of those parts together. I just kind of put them together. They wouldn't be played like that. They'd be played uh, in different positions. But uh, if you put them together, you got to play it down there. So let's start here. We're going to slide into the ninth fret on the D. And then 7, 9, 7 on the G. Then a quick bend and release on that ninth. Pull off the 7. Over to 9 on the D. Back to that 7. With some pinch harmonics on there as well. So 7, 9 there on the G to end it. Then come over to the B string. 7, 10, 8. Then a quick little trill again. 7, hammer to 8. Pull back up to 7. 7 on the D, G, 9 on the D, the 7 on the D. All right, then we just go to those power chords, which is in the rhythm guitar part. It's just the, the second fret off the A string power chord to 3. So 2 to 3, just using the power chord, do that four times, and then we do that dive bomb. Now, originally it was played here. They just kind of played this se seventh fret, but we're gonna take that note and move it here because we also have a, an open G a dive bomb in a different guitar. So we're gonna put the open G and that D note together. So I'm just open G string and the third fret up there on the D string. And then just kind of do the uh, dive bomb, uh, the dive bomb. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to take a look at Kirk Hammett's uh, second solo in the next lesson.